Hey guys, this is Abhishek coming. Uh, um, uh, welcome to the blasting tutorial of ASP.NET. You can get lots of knowledge by subscribing this channels. Uh, in my last uh, video tutorial, that is the video number 33, uh, in which uh, I have told you that uh, we are managing the three tier architectures uh, for the custom JQ grid by using the custom JQ grid. Um, okay today we're gonna see uh, in last tutorial I have implemented this much for you okay and uh, this was my code okay I have added a three or oh, sorry four total four projects in my solutions this one's for my uh, pro, uh, fields which is uh, our database fields we are declaring these fields over here after that uh, I have created a new project for uh, my data layer and a new project for business logic layer and uh, this this one is my project okay today we will continue this one uh, today I'm gonna show you how we can uh, update sorry how we can add new records to the database by using these architectures okay yeah let's do that okay first of all I have to create a first of all I have to create a section to add records so I am creating a table over here tr and th it should be the student id after that uh, th should be oh sorry td input type is equal to text and uh, id is equal to txt id no value it's a first row after that first name last name and city and four buttons call span is 2 import type is equals to button id is equal to btn insert and value is equal to add new student ok uh, here the name is city City, last name, first name, border equals one. Okay, after that, yeah, now I'm adding a new record from here like uh, grill, hello, and uh, USA. Okay, if I press add buttons, the new record should add, uh, should add into the second table. Okay, so let's do that. This is my insert button. So in document.ready, I'm creating a new click event. Get all the details where first name, where last name, where city name. Okay. So dollar hash txt first name dot val txt last name dot val and txt city name dot val right 
sorry only city okay we get uh, we got all the values after that i'm firing an ajax method but before that we have to create we have all the fields over here right but uh, we don't have a method for that okay so i am creating a public uh, boolean insert record okay i will get a parameter of uh, what is the name of that uh, okay student fields student fields fields after that uh, CMD. We need a CMD. So SQL command CMD. CMD equals to new SQL command. Insert into student values. At the rate F name. At the rate L name. At the rate city. Comma. Connection string. Start connection string. CMD dot parameter dot add with value at the rate f name it should be f i e l d s fields dot first name last name and city name l, l name and s city Oops, we have to pass a new SQL connection. We have to pass a connection string over here. So we get a connection string and pass a new SQL connection over here, right? After that, okay, let's do this in different manner. Uh, we should use SQL connection CN. CN is equals to this one and after that CN dot open CN dot execute non carry and CN dot close after that return true okay just use this method in our logic public boolean insert record and uh, project data layer proj da dal equals to new and proj dot insert record pass this parameter ok and uh, take a certain value right and uh, after that this method will write over here web method public static string insert record student logic is logic equals to new return logic dot insert record ok but before that I uh, we have to student fields ok uh, we need to access the student field also so uh, we have to implement the project interface over here using project interface that means uh, we need to student fields 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 dot first name is equal to f name fields dot last name is equal to l name fields dot city name is equal to city Okay, and uh, this, these are the parameters uh, like uh, string f name, string l name, 
am string city and this should be written as you will see as a success argument missing oops okay pass a cm value Use of unassigned variables. Okay. This is equal to null. Okay. Build successful. After that, we are calling this method. by using the ajax url default of this git slash method name type is equal to post content type is equal to application slash json success Result. Okay. Cannot insert the code into the table. And the alert result dot b. we will pass the proper message over record inserted successfully right we will make a back point over here and we have to pass a data also so data json dot string where post state is equals to f name first name then name last name city city name okay and for data json dot stringify it should be post data right it's done just run your project add manish patel add okay our service is called proper we got a first name we got a last name we got a city also just press f11 cannot insert record into the table okay i think we missed something okay just wait a minute hey guys we have made a small mistakes we do not need to create a interface variable we have a logic yes we will got all the stops from here because we have implemented the student fields in this object or in this class so you will get all these things yeah so run it again we will get everything okay let's create Yes, yes, yes. Okay. After that, to this and uh, fulfill Canada Rajesh Rajesh and Patel. Everything is there. Okay. No doubt. Yes, yes, yes. Open, execute, return true. Was successful and a five. Record inserted successfully. Remember, but. 
we have to make a refresh of a page so but I don't want to refresh a page so I'll in the success method I will do this again so I'll create a simple function over here function get records write this over here control kd call this function on page load and uh, when the success completed also you should call and before calling you should clear the div so you will get a proper answer okay we have we have a seven records now i am adding a new record abhishek bengre from surat record is inserted successfully press okay you will get the eight numbers eight numbers abhishek i hope you guys have enjoyed this sessions by uh, of architectures in which we have maintained the multiple projects in single solutions and uh, i would like to give you some task you have to make uh, the update and delete operations by implementing this project and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you for watching bye bye